What's going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you are having an amazing day and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install and upgrade your Redmi Note 5 Pro wired to Android Pie 9.0 I know Android Pie has just released today and we are actually installing on our Redmi Note 5 Pro. Well, this video actually depends on when you're actually watching this video because most of the things are basically stable, but there are some little things such as, for example, the camera doesn't have the full potential right now and it's not the issue of Xiaomi or Android Pie. The thing is Android Pie is so little, like literally released today, there are no G cams and we have to actually wait for the Mi A2 or the A1 to actually get an Android P update so that we can install an MIUI camera on our Redmi Note 5 Pro. But until then, we have to just work with this stock G cam, which does have stock HDR features and stuff, but there are many great things about Android Pie, which are we going to be installing on our Redmi Note 5 Pro, starting with sheer performance. Yes, with Vulkan API 2 and many under the hood changes from Android 9.0, make this phone heck a lot of faster. Like the app opening times are pretty much okay as before, as you expect on stock Android. But seriously, even if you try to open any kind of third party app, such as for Instagram, it just opens extremely quick. And then again, you won't feel any kind of huge difference between synthetic benchmarks as it scores around 136k which is not bad at all and with the help of spectrum i'm also going to show you how you can preserve most of the battery life with android p upgrades in battery performance and then again the battery schedulers from the spectrum which we are using in the no name kernel and with this room we also get some of the google features such as tips and support 24 7 we can ask for anything as you can see contact us and stuff fully works then again if you go to the system then again advanced system update as you can see system is up to date android version 9.0 Batch August 5, yes, it's that latest. And then again, in other features, we also get all the stuff, such as, for example, your Google Now on the left, then again, the gestures, they work just amazing. Like, look at it, how butter smooth it is. Then again, we can just swipe up to access all the apps. We have all the stuff from the Pixel phones over here, even the wallpapers, which is very nice thing. Even if you go to the settings, basically, I have covered everything from Android Pie. You can actually check my developer preview file review over here by pressing this I button. So I'm not going to waste your time over there, as you can see, like, it has the newer wireframe and stuff we all know. And then again, Volti and all of the stuff is also working, which is again very welcome feature. And then let's just get to the installation. Well, the installation is a bit tricky, so you have to actually follow me neatly. And the prerequisites over here are just a unlocked bootloader. Now, if you don't already know how to unlock your bootloader, you can watch almost thousand videos on it and just fix all the bugs and let's just begin. So first of all, hop onto your PC. And once you're onto a PC, just don't ask me dumb questions, Devang, can we do it without a PC? You can't, I will just ignore you if you ask that. But I'm assuming that you have already updated your Redmi Note 5 Pro to the latest MOUI, which would be 9.6.2. Well, if you haven't already updated and if you're something above 9.5.17, you have actually anti-rollback on your phone. So you have to follow me step by step. So first of all, let's just begin. You have to put your recovery into the ADB folder, also the dummy IMG in order to bypass the anti-rollback. Now let's just start by opening up the folder. There you go. Let's just rename recovery to something easier like just wired.img. Then open CMD. And first we have to actually bypass the anti-rollback. So for that, connect your phone first of all in fastboot mode, which would be volume down and power. I hope you actually know this by unlocking your bootloader. And once your phone is into the fastboot, let's just keep it aside and type in fastboot devices. There you go, our device has been connected. Then type in fastboot slash anti rollback which would be rb pass dummy dot img do this only if you have anti rollback on your phone now hit enter again we have successfully bypassed it then flash the actual recovery which would be fast boot flash recovery wired dot img which we just renamed hit enter there you go we have successfully installed custom recovery on your phone now in order to enter it, press power and volume up at the same time for a few seconds. Now that we are actually into the recovery, you have to take a backup of your whole phone before. Yes, we are actually formatting your whole phone. So first of all, go to wipe, format data, type in yes. This will remove the encryption. Go to wipe again, advanced wipe and wipe just everything. Not the micro SD card or the USB OTG, we don't need that. Go to home, reboot, recovery. This will activate all the partitions. Once the phone is back up again, keep it aside and then we have to just copy all the files. So close the CMD first of all, now we don't need it. Go to this PC, Redmi Note 5 Pro, keep it aside, then copy Android P, then the vendor, and then all of these files. Then these three APKs, which would be the no name, GMS, and the actual camera. And once everything has been copied, you can just close it and unplug your phone, cause now we have to just head on from the phone ahead. Now from the phone, you have to actually go to mount, mount everything, which is possible, not the OTJ on the micro SD card again. Go to install and flash the vendor first of all. Swipe to flash. 
I hope I'm going easy and slow on you guys. But if you find something difficult, please let me know in the comment section below whether I or else anyone can help you. Then flash the actual Android Pie. Well, the best part about this thing is you don't have to actually wait for the update. As soon as Google Pixel XL gets updated, your phone will get the update too, which is a very nice thing. You have to just download the GSI, wipe the system and just install the GSI again. Everything just stays the same. So in order to install the GSI, go to install image. There you go, Android Pie. Select as system image only. Swipe to flash. And once the system image has been installed, you have to again go to home, reboot recovery. This will activate all the partitions. Once you're into the recovery again, go to mount, mount system and vendor, cast everything, install and flash, post which is the actual kernel, add more zips, then magics for root, confirm to flash. And again, if you want the Android P gestures from the upcoming Pixel 3 or the Google cameras for portrait shots and everything, which are not actually working right now, you can also flash camera API to plus WhatsApp, add more zips, overlays for the gestures and confirm to flash and you're basically done now if you want the spectrum and extra performance and battery life from your phone again go to install and you can install no name kernel but you have to actually control it yourself so if you don't want this headache you can just reboot your system but i want this so confirm to flash there you go no name kernel has been installed this is a very brilliant kernel with overclock and I have actually played PUBG on the developer preview for and it just works great with Vulkan API 1.2. It's so butter smooth. I mean, it's not basically 60 FPS, but the frame drops are much more in a manner. So let's just reboot the system directly over here. And congratulations, you have Android Pie on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. Such a beautiful phone. And our phone is finally up. So that wasn't even like five minutes. This is really quick, but let's just take care of these stupid notifications over here and complete the setup. So first of all, for that, you will need a latest Google Play services for Redmi Note 5 Pro. Go over here, show internal storage, go to Pixel XL, and then just find the GMS app. There you go. Continue, install. Then again, the Spectrum app, install. This is actually to control the kernel for gaming battery and performance. Really a very good app. And on battery, I have actually tested, I was using Instagram for one hour at least, and my battery only drained from 89% to 86. So yeah, on battery saving profile, this is really great. And then we will install the camera. Continue, install, done, let's just go to home, keep the camera over here, and you're basically done. So going to the notifications now, as you can see, they are now disappearing, preparing for the setup. This will need Wi-Fi. And until this starts up, I will show you how to fix the connection between your phone and PC. So go to settings, scroll down, system, about phone, just tap on the build number a few times, there you go. And now you will find developer options. Just open them, scroll down until you find default USB configuration. Tap on file transfer and that's basically it. Let us set up our fingerprint scanner, hit next, touch the sensor, there you go, it's working. And also the good part about it is we are actually experiencing Pixel 3 before even it releases. So yeah, that's an amazing thing to be honest because in terms of features, it may not be far off than this thing which we are already experiencing. It might have some other features which I talked about which are not really present such as the complete Android slices and the digital well-being. But yeah, there you go. There is the fingerprint scanner. Let's just test it. Tap. Pretty fast to be honest. As you can see, the camera is also working which I just forgot to show you guys. And let's just now also turn on the pixel gesture. So go to the system, gestures. Swipe up on home screen, there you go. Now we also have the gestures. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it all. How you can install Android Pie 9.0 on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you found this helpful, please subscribe down there. Drop a like. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. I would be putting out lot of Redmi Note 5 Pro videos in the future. So be sure to turn on bell notifications too. And peace.